Have you ever wanted to know whether or not you're in ketosis? Are you in this fat burning zone and busting out those ketone bodies for energy? Oh, it's a deep burn! Well, one of the most accurate ways of knowing this is to measure your blood ketone levels. The problem is that those blood ketone strips are quite expensive. And if you want to take some measurements more than once a day, then it's gonna add up. Don't worry, my name is Seem and I'm going to tell you how to know if you're in ketosis without using these blood ketone or urine strips. If you're new to this channel then make sure you subscribe because I make videos about how to optimize your physical and mental performance. It's body mind empowerment. So when do you enter ketosis in the first place? Nutritional ketosis begins if your blood ketone levels are over 0.5 millimoles. To be honest, you're in mild ketosis already after an overnight fast once your liver glycogen stores have been depleted. But this doesn't mean that you'll be successfully utilizing those ketones for energy. If you're not keto adapted, then your brain and muscles won't be able to put those ketones into use. The most commonly used way of knowing if you're in ketosis is to use keto sticks. You basically measure the amount of ketone bodies in your urine. But the problem with this way of measuring is that having high levels of ketones in your urine doesn't mean that you're in ketosis. In fact, it may mean the opposite. What it actually means is that instead of using those ketones for fuel, you're excreting them through your urine and you're pissing them out. Mr. Kim left to go to the bathroom. That's why using urine strips isn't any good and blood ketone measurements are quite expensive. So what do you do? What we want to know as well are our blood glucose levels. Glucose and ketones are contradicting fuel sources and if your blood glucose is high, then you won't be able to use fat for fuel. You definitely won't be in ketosis. If your fasting blood glucose levels are below 80 milligrams per deciliter and you're not feeling hypoglycemic, then you're using ketones for fuel. Just recently I had a 3 day fast and my blood glucose after having fasted for 3 days was below 60 milligrams, which is you know, extremely low when you think about it. I should have been hospitalized. But at the same time, I measured my blood ketones and they were at 1.4 millimoles, which is perfect nutritional ketosis. And that's the reason why I didn't pass out, why I didn't feel hypoglycemic, why I was, you know, still able to function effectively. It's actually very normal to have low levels of glucose if your ketones are high. It means you're in ketosis and you're successfully using those ketones for energy. Trust me. But what are some other symptoms of being in ketosis. Yeah, you can take some quantifications, but you can also trust your gut instinct and some of the signs your body is giving you. Losing water weight is very common when you start the ketogenic diet. Once you stop eating carbs, your body just flushes out a lot of the water. Pissed off! This can also make you more thirsty and it can cause the infamous keto breath. During lipolysis, which is the burning of fatty acids in the Krebs cycle, we create a ketone body called acetone. We'll be excreting most of it in our urine and breath. That's how keto sticks work as well. The keto breath is often described as a metallic or fruity taste in your mouth. Slightly acidic, rotten or pure death. If you have an upcoming date with someone, then yeah, be very careful with this one. And just know that you're excreting some acetone through your saliva and the same can happen with your urine as it can start to stink as well it's acetone again the odor is quite strong and your sweat can also have the same effect there is no bathroom the keto flu is very common and you may experience some slight headaches and fatigue but these symptoms have to do mostly with electrolyte imbalances which you can easily fix by drinking some bone broth some pickle juice or adding more salt to your water and increasing your potassium intake I have a video about how to fix the keto flu for good, so check it out. I'll leave it in the description. Next to all of these slightly uncomfortable symptoms, there you will also experience some of the good ones, like lack of appetite, increased energy, mental focus, and no hunger whatsoever. You'll be eating a lot of fat, protein, and fibrous vegetables, which are all the most satiating nutrients, and you feel quite amazing. Oh yeah! Whatever the case may be, you definitely don't need to be in ketosis 24-7 all the time. But you definitely do want to go into it every once in a while. So click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. Thanks for watching. My name is Seem. Stay keto adapted. Stay empowered.